welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to do a review of the debian edu iso so debian edu iso is targeted towards the students so let us try out the iso let us see what it has got to offer for the students so we already installed this in the last video today we will just do the review so here you can see a uh, lot of options are available like network boot memory test is available then you have got the advanced options just like in the regular debian uh, iso there are uh, two uh, kernels 6.1.0 dash 10 and the dash 9 kernel is there so we will boot with the latest kernel So take a look at the verbose that is appearing on the screen. So before this, I had just booted it to check up, but uh, then I did not log in. I just shut down the system. So there is some issue with the journal. So it is recording the journal. Most of the times, the journal gets successfully recorded. In very rare cases, the file system gets corrupted. So this verbose is just like in any other Debian uh, installation. There is no change in the verbose. All the same systems are getting uh, started up. Of course, there is some uh, systems like this X2 Go server. You can see it here on the fourth line from the bottom. That is the server for this edu education ISO. So we had installed, if you remember the main server, the LTPS was there and the main profile was there. That is the user profile. So now let us see what uh, is available as a session on the greater screen. The cursor has uh, disappeared from the view. Uh, now it has come back. So this is the greater screen. You can see it here. Let us check out the sessions. So the default session X session is there and the XFC session is there. Then you have got the three options for accessibility, high, uh, large text, high contrast and the screen reader. Other, others like the on-screen uh, keyboard and those things are not available. And this is the power menu. So let us input our password and get logged in. So we will log in into the default session. And there is a XFC session also available. So this uh, education ISO is based on the XFC desktop. So XFC is stable and it is simple to use so anybody with a windows knowledge can also use the xfc desktop so network credentials are valid you have valid kerberos credentials so you can join uh, when you have this kerberos installed in your system you can join with any of the windows domain so this uh, education iso is designed to work with the windows network also so by default the necessary packages for the authentication with the windows uh, domain is added up so the kerberos is used for the authentication with within the windows domain so that has been installed and it starts up along with the system so now first thing of course we will what do is we will do the increase in uh, the resolution right now yes we will go with the not text yes. okay so now it is good so first thing that popped up is this mozilla firefox let us check the version of mozilla firefox so it is the esr version that is 102.13 so it is a long term support from Mozilla. I will close this. Now there is uh, nothing change in the XFC desktop. It is the standard XFC desktop that is available in Debian. So this is the traditional Debian uh, configuration of the XFC desktop which is available in the Debian Bookworm and the Debian, Debian Bullseye. So you got three uh, desktop icons, trash, file system and home and you got four workspaces. This is the VPN connection manager. 
simple volume control and also microphone volume control and a link to the audio mixer this is the battery manager with a presentation mode and uh, link to the settings this is the notification area with notification settings clear log and the dnd option this is the xfc calendar and this is the power menu at the bottom you have a minimize all win uh, windows the xfc terminal is there the file manager thunar thunar file manager is there the web browser is there I think the web browser should open up Mozilla Firefox only or maybe there is a multiple uh, web browsers in the system. This is the application finder and this is the link to the user folder that is the uh, SAM user folder. So yes, it is, this is only web browser that is Mozilla Firefox available. Now we will go and check the application menu. So let us check out the accessories first. So you have got application finder, bulk rename, clipboard manager, GeoSA is there, Carveras authentication, Midnight commander, uh, it is an additional very lightweight uh, file manager. Then you have got mousepad, onboard keyboard is there with onboard keyboard settings, screenshot, screen, uh, screen viewer, sensor viewer is there, task manager is there. So let us open the sensor viewer first. So it should shows the sensors that are attached to the system so right now only SCP is uh, showing up in the sensors type and the tachometer so no sensors are shown up maybe we'll have to install some additional packages to make the sensors visible here what is GOSA let us check out what is GOSA Meanwhile, we can click and open the task manager also. So task manager should give us the picture of the system resource usage. You can see it here. CPU usage is around uh, 20, 17%. Three thirty-eight processes are going on. Memory usage is around 2.2 GB. This is heavy because the education packages and the other softwares that are installed will also run in the background. You can see it here what different processes are running gvfs is the virtual file system that is employed in the desktop yes the firefox processes are also running so they are taking majority of the ram usage gosa is now working what is gosa we will have to check up Let us minimize this. We will keep it running here. GOSA should open or maybe it is a background application or it might be working in only terminal. What is TILP? Let us check out what is TILP. And other uh, application that is of interest to us is the XMAC. XM Abacus, okay. So TILP uh, is a linking program. Okay, so we will open up the help page. Let us see. TILP is a linking program. Okay. So what exactly it does is we will show it in help. So help file is not opening up. Or we can go to the main page of the manual let us see if the man, uh, main page of the manual opens up nothing here also what is ti's website okay okay so these are some uh, calculator is there so these are the calculator files and the computer files so it is some kind of calculator I also don't know exactly what is it is. Get calc info. Okay, so now it is opening up. So TILP2 is a linking program. So now it will open up the website. Then we will check what exactly it is and what is XM bus is also there. 
Yes, so XM bus we will do it later. This is Abacus, so students can learn accounting using this Abacus. Addition, subtract, all the arithmetic operations can be learned on Abacus. So this is the Abacus. Now I will close this. You can also install Abacus uh, on your uh, PC or laptop also. If you have got uh, Debian installed, you can search for this XM Abacus uh, package in uh, the synaptic package manager using the synaptic package manager it will be available in the repositories of Debian and you can directly install no need of uh, installing the complete education setup you can just install any of the app also that is also possible so now i will close this so this tlp uh, linking program is not opening up it is some kind of calculator but uh, you see it is not working or maybe we require to run the server also in the background i don't know but I just logged in, we are just logged in into the node or the user uh, session. In develop, uh, development, you got Jupyter Netbook, J Explorer is there, Scratch, Squeak and the Thony is there. So let us check out what is Thony. I will close this uh, calculator program. So it has opened up the terminal. It is working in terminal or what? Okay. So we can open up something. JX Explorer. Let's see what is that. That should also open up. XFC terminal. So this program, yes, writing netbook server cookie secret to Spoon Linux. So this Debian education ISO is also called Spoon Linux. It is meant for the use in schools. You can find it here. So crash reports are pending use control c to solve it so this is opening up a server so whenever we click on this so when you will click on the jupyter's notebook the notebook will not work because the server it requires server to function server will not work and J, jx explorer is the ldap directory it will require the ldap directory I will just show you the help file. So now I will close this. Or J Explorer. So J Explorer is nothing but your uh, NDAP directory explorer. So you can uh, check out uh, the users and all those things in the NDAP directory. So if you have got any system administration experience, then you have to use this. Uh, JX Explorer to open the LDAP directory and then do the different operations on the LDAP directory. What is Scratch? So, Scratch image. So, it is some program for uh, users. So, you can scratch, you can create a uh, image for scratching and then you can ask your uh, students to scratch on that and uh, uh, bring out the image uh, behind those uh, scratches so you basically you are going to unhide the image by scratching on the uh, what we can say uh, scratching on the image so image will get unhide so that is this program so it, uh, there will be a software uh, that will hide the real image that you put behind and you can uh, hide it by using uh, some uh, white or black uh, color or some other color you can be it can be attractive color you can hide it okay and what is quick and what is funny so these two uh, applications will now open up okay one so there are no images in the uh, in the squeak application so i think you will require to install it before i so thony is some uh, development application you can 
maybe it is a python development so you can uh, teach students uh, the programming using this that is thony application if you want let us check out the help contents yes so it is a application this is a application development you can do some coding here teach students coding so this is thonis for uh, coding in python i think it is using uh, the python compiler so you can program uh, in python yes, so here squeak is not working thoni is a, uh, this programming application for students yes now the main things come so in the education uh, say, uh, section you have got astronomy so these are the different astronomy applications you can see it here stellarium is there stellarium is a big application i have used it few times earlier then there is a open space simulator i will just show you the stellarium so it can detect your location and it will show you the sky that will be visible on this date above you so you can check out the position of the stars in the sky at a given particular time so you can use stellarium and also you can learn about the different stars planets and other heavenly bodies using stellarium so let it open up then there is open universe space uh, stimulator so we will op uh, first open the g predict let us see what it is stellarium is a heavy application it will take some time to open up So this is G predict. Let us check what is online help. Okay, so there is a yes. So now the stellarium is open up. You can see it here. It is showing the view of the sky at Paris. So at Paris, you can see this is the sky that is appearing over uh, Paris, and in field of view is around 60 degree. So if you got a camera or a lens with a field of view of 60 degrees, and you to point it. In the sky, this is what will be appearing in your uh, screen, uh, in your lens, or in your screen, or to your eyes when you are standing in Paris and uh, with and having a field of view of 60 degrees. You can see it here. The time also is given UTC plus two, so it is ahead of the universal time by two hours. And then you can also make it rotate. So this S means that uh, we are looking at the uh, south side. So this is the southern part of uh, Paris. You are standing in Paris, you are looking at the southward side and this is the sky that will appear on the horizon with a FOV that is the field of view of 60 degrees. So this is very simple. You can try it out and also you can learn about the different uh, heavenly bodies that are seen here. So you can just i think uh, clicking is available or what i don't remember now but yes the clicking was uh, yes it will just uh, open up the information about the heavenly body i had used it few years back so that time i don't remember how i did but you can uh, explore it for yourself it is very easy the pdf uh, manual is also given Yes, here, here it is. We we'll shut this down. Okay, so yes, now I will come to the G predict. So what is G predict? We will open up the PDF user manual by visiting the link given here. It should open up in a, a minute or so. I think this G predict. What exactly it is? Uh, it is not opening up the link to the help file. Online link. Copy URL. Let us now open 
the web browser manually it is not opening up the browser easily And then yes, yes, now it is there. And here you can see the default uh, search is DuckDuckGo instead of Google here. So I think uh, Debian developers have gone with the default DuckDuckGo search engine instead of Google. I prefer to stick to Google because Google is very precise because see last 25 years Google is working as a search engine now. So due to the uh, thousands or maybe millions of passes it has done on the data, the search engine has become very accurate. Let us see what the hell file is. It should open up in a minute or so. Yes, now uh, we can see it here. Gosa is the LDAP administration. So the first two applications that we open up was the LDAP administration. So here you can do the administration of users using the LDAP uh, directory. So this gpredict uh, is not opening up. So what we will do is let us maximize it and try to see what exactly it is. Okay, so it is uh, showing the satellites that are hovering about the earth you can see here you can uh, geolocate the satellite where exactly the satellite is there in on the uh, sky above us so these are the locations of the satellites and these satellites can cover this much area so that is showing us the area that is getting covered you can see it here you can select the satellite AO73 so if I select the AO73 it is here then it is showing us the footprint of the satellite so this much area it can cover detect so if it is a satellite used to scan the landscape so it will uh, scan this here and uh, if it is a communication satellite it can cover this much area with the signals so something like that is there so you can uh, track the satellites that are flying in the skies above, the, above us so now I will close this. So it was a refreshing new application. There are some applications in Android mobiles. I use the Android uh, application to uh, uh, track the satellites. Just like tracking the pl uh, planes, there are applications to track the satellites. Now what we will do is, uh, there are, will be many applications. We cannot finish all the applications in one go. So what we will do is, we will uh, do uh, the video in parts so today's part what we will do is we will just keep it up to the astronomy applications next video will be for the chemistry and the development applications so like we will have four five videos so that will cover up the complete debian education iso so we are done the g predict now let us start the k stars so k stars i think is a kd application if i am not wrong so let it open up And of course, there is planets application also. So that also will be open up. Or I think uh, planets we are done or no? Okay, let us first do the K stars. So K stars is also astronomy application to take a look at the skies, which heavenly bodies are available in the sky. Similar application is there. So there is this case star startup wizard. So we will go through that.
you have to just give the name of the city your local so there are some case star add on installers so we will not go through that loading a providers from the file so i think we will not get, use this so there will be lot of add ons just like the plugins this add ons will be there to enhance the uh, features of the case stars so we can download extra data if you want or we can uh, let us see what no we will not go with the extras we we'll just do it close let me okay so this is showing us the uh, sky above my head i think if uh, the settings that we have done is correct this will show no so the local was not uh, selected and installed so we are now seeing the sky above vacca ville in california usa so this is how the sky looks in California USA right now. So this is application is similar to what we have seen in other two applications. You can also check for supernova. So the supernova will be shown in this. So if the supernova is there, then it will show us the location from where the supernova is available. We can also click on satellites, deep sky. Let us switch it off. Only we go for the satellites. So this should show us some satellites. Okay, so some satellites are not there. Let us go for the supernova. You just keep a watch here. You will see certain stars going on and off when we change the selections. So now watch here. You will see one uh, orange supernova. I will just now change the selection. See, this is the supernova. This orange blue is a supernova. This two is supernova. This is also supernova. And further here, there are two more supernovas. I will just unselect, select, so you can see it here. These are the supernovas. So you can track the supernovas, and then you can also watch with visible eyes if it is visible uh, with your eyes. So this is the good way of learning astronomy. You can also uh, switch on and switch off the Milky Way. You can see it here, the Milky Way. equal equatorial coordinates grid and horizontal coordinates grid the deep sky is there there are many other things so that's it i will not go in too much details otherwise it will be very long video we can do it in some other video so now i will close this k stars we had a good time with k stars we checked out some we scratched the surface and checked out just few applications of KSTAR. Not all features have been checked. So, GPredict is done, KSTAR is done, Open Space uh, Stellarium was done. So, I think Open Space Simulator, let us try this out. What it is? So, this is uh, application is used to teach the students about different heavenly bodies you can see it here this will give us the information on earth then it will hop over to the different planets and you can check out all regarding the different planets so information will be shown on the screen when the new planet pops up so it is showing us the camera distance from sun how much it is away from the sun Time factor is 1 second is 1 iteration and camera speed kilometer per second to sun is 0, 0. So it is in sync with the sun. It is traveling at the same speed as sun. So now you can see earth is going away away from the camera and some other planets will come up. So it is right now tracking the earth and now the earth will go beyond it will be far away and still it will keep tracking the earth and i think you can do it same for the other uh, uh, planets also where is the way to change it so 
so you can observe the different uh, heavenly bodies you can see it here one uh, galaxy is shown here this is a galaxy this must be a planet it is very big in size this must be a planet we don't know which planet it is but it is rotating you can see it here if you just observe it closely it is rotating ah yes this is the moon yes so closest to earth a heavenly body is moon so this is moon that uh, you can see the size comparison between moon and earth so this is moon this is also one i think this is a supernova you can see that it has ex already exploded uh, exploded and the gases are spread up and these are all other small galaxies and uh, gases that are uh, spread up in the universe okay so now i will close this so k stars open planets let us check out the planets Welcome to Planets. Planets is a simple orbital uh, planetary simulator. A short introduction to planets can be found at. So you have to go to this web page to check out the information about the planets. Introduction information. And you can use this using the PA keys. So it is like a window manager. You have to operate this application using keys only. Add a planet. So what I will do is we we'll just edge and then you have to add a planet. Okay. Uh, it is not working. Display this help dialog. Yes. Uh, so key bindings is there. Add a planet. Escape to center. Add a planet. What it is? How to add a planet? Let me check. Okay, so I think you have to first create. Uh, you have to add the planet, and then it will create a planetary system, and then the planet will revolve e around each other. So this is something like. So you have to create the planetary system by yourself by placing the planets. In the screen, and then it will make the planets rotate around the sun. So this is how the application will work. So I will not go in much details. You can check it for yourself. It will be easy, not that hard. So I think we are done with the accessories. We have checked out all the accessories. You have checked out the development uh, section, and in education, you have checked out the. Astronomy part. So this will be the part one of the Debian education of the Scal Linux. So we will have multiple parts. So maybe around five six parts will be there because you have to uh, check out all this. There are a lot of applications here. It is more than five point six GB in size. The ISO is the one of the biggest ISOs I have seen. Five point six GB is there. So with this, I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.